Fantasy Alliance. Hello, my name is Ben. Hello, my name is Lucy. This is Grandpa. This is Grandpa's friend. It's fantastic. Ben, Lucy's brother, Lucy, Ben's sister, Grandpa. Clunk, Grandpa's robot, Alice, Lucy's friend, Bobby, Alice's cat. Now let's read this story. Can you see lion? What are you doing, Alice? <coughs> Asked Rosie. I'm looking for my cat, Bobby, says Alice. Can you see him? Rosie sees a cat tail. Look. There. He's in Grandpa's bed, she says. The girls ran to the bed. Ben. ben is in the bed with Grandpa and Clunk. The cat makes a noise. Meow. What's that? asks Ben. My cat is hiding under the seat, says Alice. Clunk doesn't hear her. He taps a word on, a com on the computer. And the bed doors closed. Stop, says Alice. <coughs> but Clunk can't stop the bed now. It's taking, it's taking them to a new place. Sit down, please, Grandpa says to girls. Can, you can come with us. Where? Asks Rosie. <coughs> there are, are, where are we going? When the van stops, it isn't in the street. It's in a hot place with lots of grass and trees. We are in <coughs> Africa, says Ben. I'm reading a book about animals. Grandpa and I want to see them. <coughs> Look at the animals, says Rosie. I can see zebra and giraffes. Can you see gazelles? asks Grandpa. Yes, says Ben. There, they hide in a long grass. Bobby the cat isn't happy here. He jumps out of Alice's arm and runs. Oh no, shouts Alice. Alice is scared to go and find her cat. Rosie and I can find Bobby, says Ben. But Grandpa stops the two children. It's too dangerous, says Grandpa. Maybe there are lions here too. They are, they are, are um, they are be, binoculars. binoculars in the van. Alice uses the binoculars to look for lions. I can see lions, says Alice. They are sleeping under the deck. Ben and Rosie, you can't go and find Bobby. <coughs> but be quiet, says Grandpa. We don't want to wake up the lions. Alice and I can watch them from here. Ben and Rosie go to find Bobby the cat. They hear a loud Angry noise. Meow. That's Bobby, says Ben. A gazelle runs close to them. The gazelle is scared of Bobby, says Rosie. <coughs> they run and find the cat behind the tree. <coughs> Rosie has the cat in her arms. Let's go to the bed, she says. Ben and Rosie 
Pooky Alice and Grandpa Alice is watching the lion. But Ben sees an animal in long grass behind in tall long grass behind Grandpa and Alice. What's that? says Ben. One lion is not sleeping under the, the tree. It's hungry. It is looking for an animal to eat. The lion is quiet. So Grandpa and Alice don't hear it. Soon it is very close. Can we show to them? asks Lucy. No, says Ben. We can't run to they can't run to the band. The lion is a lot faster. Ben sees a giraffe close to them. I have an idea. He says he runs at the giraffe and shouts, Go! The giraffe looks at Ben, but it doesn't go. Then Bobby the cat sees the giraffe and makes his loudest noise. Meow! When the giraffe hears, giraffe hears Bobby, it runs. It's running to the long grass, says Rosie. I know, says Ben. The lion in the long grass is close to Grandpa and very close to Grandpa and Alice now. Then it hears a noise. It looks up and sees a giraffe coming. With an angry noise, the lion jumps up and runs out of the long grass. Roar! When Grandpa and Alice hear the lion roar, they look behind them. There was a lion in the forest, says Alice. Grandpa and Alice run to the barn. Then Ben and Lucy are there too. That was great, Ben. Says the Rosie, lions don't like giraffes. Says Ben, giraffes can kick. I know that from my book. Let's go home, says Grandpa. Let's clunk. There is a noise behind the Ben. Clunk is sitting there with some monkeys. These are my new friends, says Clunk. At home, Grandpa runs to the house. When he comes out, he has some fish on a plate. This is for Bobby the cat, he says. He was fantastic in Africa. Bobby makes a happy noise. Meow. Yeah.